Good morning, sleepyhead. How are you? Oh, she's so cute. So Zelda has just woken up. It is Sunday, her last day off before school. And check it out. The world has transformed. It is now autumn, which is so exciting because that means that spooky day will be this, this like week, maybe? Oh, let's see. Let's see. Yep, Spooky Day will be this week. That's so exciting because that means she's going to have a chance to dress up, not that she really needs it, and go out into uh, the world and go trick-or-treating in a really cute costume. But that'll be something to look forward to for sure. But it is morning. Zelda made it home safely. She went through the fairy herborium a couple times, and she managed to bring home all sorts of cool seeds, which she actually gave to her father. Uh, she got some mandrake root, and then she brought home... Let's see, what else did she bring home? She brought home grapes, watermelon of outstanding quality. She also brought home a, a Cortando bean seed, a money tree seed, and I think, yeah, it, the mandrake seeds and the, the red berry bean seeds. So she brought home a lot of stuff. That was actually really worth it just to have her go and collect some rare seeds. And she wanted to give her father a gift. So we gave him all the seeds so that he can take care of our growing magical garden. Look at it. Look at it. It's starting to grow. Oh, it's got some weeds. Can, can we take care of that? No interactions available? It looks like only, only Darian can take care of the garden. We have to wait till she gets a little bit older. So that was totally worth it. But yeah, it's going to be really fun, and we're going to move in the plants, and she actually wants to buy a planter bowl, and I'm assuming that's because she wants to see some of the rare seeds that she brought home for her dad. Uh, in fact, let's buy a planter bowl right now, because I think that the money tree seed needs to come inside, so that because they're desperate for money. Look, we only have like $30. We are desperate for money, so it would be a very good thing. Lawn ornaments? Where the heck does one find a planter bowl? That is a good question. A very good question indeed. Let's see, study. Would it be like decor? Planter bowls! Oh. We can afford the $30 tiny clay planter bowl. But I really want the gothic tiny planter bowl. Okay, is there anything we can sell? Let's see. What about. Nah, Zelda wants to keep her snake skin. What about some more flowers? Some wild flowers. Um. Ooh, we do have a couple Indian blankets. We better go ahead and release the Indian blankets out to the world. There we go. Because we do need we do need quite a bit of money and we don't have quite a bit of money. We have like no money. Alright, back to decor. Now we can get some fancy planter bowls. Tiny garden planter bowl. Ooh, that one's cute actually. We're gonna use this one. There we go. And so then we will have him plant the really awesome money tree seed that his daughter Zelda brought home in just a little bit but Zelda also got an opportunity so now she needs to collect for her little opportunity um, some samples of metal and gems for the geology like research that she's doing at school so she's gonna be collecting those and that's really easy because her dad has been con transmuting things he has been busy in here using the configuration spell to transmute his apples into all sorts of things he transmuted them into some some rare metals and some rare gemstones last night which was amazing and also check it out ah no no ah there we go no show back up curse you stuff stop vanishing check it out he managed to get a sea anemone named Omar which is so cool but that that used to be an apple and now it's a sea anemone how crazy is that but he's really exhausted so he's gonna spend the morning sleeping while we invite over Zelda's friends because that's the whole reason we moved here is so that she can invite friends over and really bond and get to know everyone so she's gonna invite over Zola who I imagine she might get along well with because Zola looks like she's supernatural and she also has a Z name Z Zelda and Zola you know how cute is that and we're also gonna invite in Rebecca and Ginger so we're gonna invite over a whole bunch of friends and hopefully they'll have a great time playing together getting along well we'll have to see we should probably move down the yay Ginger's coming over so we'll let all the girls meet and hopefully this will be the start to a roaring friendship play in treehouse with Ginger the fall festival has made its way to town, setting up in time to get everyone in the mood for spooky day. Don your best costume and come celebrate with us, won't you? Aw, Zola doesn't want to come over. Dang it. Try your, your luck. The pie eating contest and apple bobbing tank awaits. If the competition doesn't strike your fancy, grab a city slicker's uh, portion and watch from the sidelines. 
Aw, dang it. So only Ginger's coming over. It looks like we have to work on our relationship with the other girls. What? Oh, it's just... <laughs> I was like, what's that? It's just so it's stalking. But all right. Oh, look, Ginger. Ginger's here. That's better than nothing. That's better than nothing for sure. Wow, she showed up fast. What? <gasps> it's a little lizard. Oh, we need to catch that. Hang on, Ginger. We've got to catch these things because they're so freaking cute. But then we'll play with Ginger in the treehouse because I think that the girls would have a great time doing that. Did we catch it? <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! That's so exciting! We did! We caught a lizard! Look at it! It's our first lizard! Yay! That's so exciting! And she's catching a little bug. She caught a little light beetle and some lizards. We're just going to have to like come in here and if you donate your insects to the science lab, you'll get a nice reward. Ooh, we'll try that out. We will try that out indeed. Yeah, what, what, tell me more about the minor pets. Tutorial? While common minor pets can simply be purchased, those that are rare must be caught out in the wild. These little critters require just as much care and as attention as other pets, so make sure to feed them and clean their terrarium. Minor pets also enjoy as much... Uh, minor pets also enjoy attention as much as other pets do. Whether this means spending some time playing with your pet or even watching it do its thing in the terrarium, it all contributes to keeping your little critters happy. Just be sure not to keep them in your inventory for too long because they can escape. What? They can escape? No way. If you ever feel that your minor pets just aren't getting the attention they deserve, you can always set them free. Letting them return to their natural habitat is always better than neglecting them. After all, being ignored while trapped in a terrarium can't possibly contribute to a long and healthy life. Aww, that's so sad and so sweet. Oh my gosh, so we're definitely gonna... Where's the terrariums? Let's see. I need the terrariums, the terrariums. Start my room. Pits, pits! There we go. Little box of the litter box of the future. The cat jungle gym. Oh, these are for cats, that's why. There we go. Turtle terrarium, snake terrarium, rodent, lizard. Oh, we can afford it. We're we're doing this. We're so doing this. We'll do it in blue because that's like the lizard's blue and one of Zelda's favorite colors is blue. We're gonna put it right there. And we're gonna move the little foil ball that is that is our wonderful cat's toy. There we go. All right, let's put away the lizard. What are we gonna name the lizard? Oh, look at her! Look at her bringing in the little lizard! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Look at you! Zelda, look at you! You're bringing in a whole new pet! Look, look! You're cute, the lizard's cute. We're gonna play with Ginger after this. But there we go. There we go, little lizard, welcome! Oh my gosh! <gasps> It's our first lizard! That's so exciting! That is so ridiculously exciting. Hello, little lizard. What you doing? What should we name you? This, like, I, I can see it now. The whole basement is just going to be turned into, like, a giant terrarium and greenhouse as the plants work their way in. And the upstairs will just be, like, this place that's full of gems and crystals and alchemy potions. And the outside will be <laughs> where, where Zelda actually takes care of her needs and things like that. But, yes, so let's play with Ginger. That's why she's here. Didn't mean to ignore her. Um, play in Kids Clubhouse. Then can we command Ginger? Don't worry. Don't do your homework, Ginger. She's so studious. Come come play come play with us. Here. We're gonna we're gonna invite you inside. Come on. Come on. No, don't jump don't dump water on Ginger. That's so rude. Oh wait, let's see. What's going on here? Um Inviting the kids clubhouse. That's better. Come on up! It's always more fun with more friends. Hopefully we'll be able to convince some of the other little kids to be our friends too. Oh, she's so cute. They're both so cute. I hope they have a good time together. And what's this? The zoologist. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, she wants to play with her new pet lizard. The zoologist, while being able to obtain pets through various ways, there's no greater self-satisfaction than an avid animal lover than to go out into the wild and bring home native animals. Animals born and bred in the wild have different challenges and responsibilities as opposed to regular house pets. Oh, so that's, that's one of the, like, huge lifetime goals that she wants. And you know what? You know what? I'm kind of, I'm kind of for that one. It's just once we... 
choose that one, then that's what's locked in. But I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. It would mean collecting a whole bunch of minor pets, and she's a fairy, so that seems rather fitting to zip around, travel the world, collect animals. Hmm. She's very playful. I don't know if that's Zelda, though. I don't know. But I really like it, so we'll, sh we'll choose it for now. We'll keep it as her lifetime wish for now, and we'll see what happens. Are you having fun? Are you guys having fun in there? Where's Soot? What's Soot doing? Scratching his scratching post. <gasps> he caught an emerald tree boa. What? Soot! When did you do that? We're just covered in reptiles today. That is so exciting. Oh my gosh. And Zelda, how are you doing up there? Just having fun with your friend? Are you doing anything special? Playing kids clubhouse? Entry restrictions? No boys allowed? I have a name. We haven't even met a little boy. Name a kid, the kids clubhouse. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, Ginger! You're so cute. Alright, let's get out, and then let's go spend some time with Ginger. Uh, play fairy trick. Special fairy. Um, playful pester. Special fairy. Tell a fairy tale. That seems like fun. Ginger, come on, put away your homework. Today is all about relaxing, unwinding, having fun together. Meanwhile, Darian is, like, still passed out. We also apparently have to invite Ginger inside. Come on. Get out of the treehouse, sweetie. No, Ginger! Oh, she went off. Went home. Dang it. That, was, that wasn't too exciting. Maybe we can invite her back over. I guess we needed to invite her inside, and we never did. All right, so let's fill the lizard's food. Look at that. We can give names to it. We can show lizard info. What? Oh, I thought it was going to have like all this biology information pop up about the lizard. That would have been amazing. Okay, come on. Okay, what are you doing? Drop somewhere. No, 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 no. Why don't, why don't we give? Why don't we friendly sniff? Okay, it's just going to drop the snake somewhere. Soot, what are you doing? What are you doing, Soot? Okay, he just, okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's still alive, isn't it? Well, I guess this counts. Does this count as catching a minor pet? Does that count? No, it didn't count. That's okay, though. All right, let's spend a little bit of time with Soot, then. All right. Hunting. Go. <gasps> what? We can command him to go catch specific things. That is too cool. Well, that is so neat. All right. No, go pet him. Go pet him. Affection. Feed him a treat for giving us uh, the snake. And then give him a pet. Darian, conjure yourself some apples to eat. Yeah, that's right. You better be thinking about some Melonians. You need to earn some, sir. His magic skill is going up, though, and he's been doing a great job at configure or like transmuting his items. Don't eat the poison apple, Darian. <laughs> at transmuting what he's been getting into rare items that are worth more. All right. Dang it, Darian! Stop conjuring poison apples. You can't eat those. Come on, that's better. All right, you can eat that one. Meanwhile, how are, is everything going down here? We'll invite Ginger back over, see if we can spend some time with her. So what we're gonna try to do today is Darian is going to plant a whole bunch of the things that he has dug through. Let's see, what's this? Oh yeah, it's the pumpkin. <laughs> I guess we can carve the pumpkins at some point too. That'll be fun. Yeah, he's fine on hunger, ate his apples. We're gonna come down here and we are actually going to plant the money tree. Let's see, where's our money tree seed? There it is. Oh, we can't plant it yet, dang it. Level seven. Oh, it's gonna be a while before we get there. So let's plant, um, can we plant, can't plant the rare seeds yet. What about this very nice bean seed? Well, let's let's plant some more stuff out here because he needs to tend to his garden anyway and take care of all his little mushrooms that are growing in our nice little our nice little garage. What a better place to grow mushrooms, eh? All right, need to work on that skill. Let's plant some of the mandrake because that's going to be needed. Mandrake root, what about valerian root? See, it's, we're making a little witch's garden. That's what we're doing over here. I think we need the red valerian root for quite... What about, yeah, we'll plant the wolfsbane flower. 
Wait, what's going on over here? Oh, Zelda's just going into her house. Aw, she's throwing herself a little fairy house party! That's so cute! You're so adorable. Alright, drink some pollen punch while you're in there. Look at her! She's so <laughs> she apparently threw a great party. And she wants to go catch a snake. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess that totally fits, like, the childhood wanting to explore and see what's out in the world sort of interaction. Oh, there's a, the, there's an ice cream truck just kind of sitting there. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Well, what should we do with you since your friend Ginger ran off? Hmm. It's still early in the day, so I guess we'll send, I guess we'll send her out to see if we can find anything. Where would we be able to- oh! Oh! I can see the collectibles now! When did that happen? Bloodstone! What the heck? Is that because of her opportunity? What's this? What's going on over here? This is the sanatorium. Hmm. There's gold laying around. Oh my gosh, this is so useful! Isn't there like a skill or something, a lifetime reward we can unlock that will show us where everything is? I need to check. Change of taste, inappropriate, but in a good way. Simunity, never get sick. Flying vacuum, <laughs> that is amazing. I love that show. Hocus Pocus is like one of my favorite shows ever. Change lifetime wish, uh, trait chip bundler. Engaging, never dull, fast learner, raised by wolves. Let's see, animal expert. The Collector's Helper is an invaluable tool that helps collectors identify as collectibles as well as find them in the map view. So we're a long way away, but that would be really helpful to have, so we'll remember that. But it looks like she can go and actually collect all of the material and everything for her little competition. So we'll have her do that, like her little uh, science project. And apparently there's something in her own front yard! Oh, there it is! It's the, the rock that was hiding in there. I totally forgot about it. She wants to rake leaves. That's adorable. Well, Darian, then go inside real fast. Go tend to yourself. And then we will get back to work. Go on, go on. We've got to plant your witch's garden. That's very important. Nice dark place that we're going to cordon off very carefully. Ooh, that tanzanite was worth a lot. Nice. All right, so let's send her off to find more stuff. Let's see, where's some good stuff? Stuff's over here. Ooh, there's lots of stuff here. Is that another zombie? That's another zombie hole. Maybe it like dug this stuff out as it like dug its little zombie spot. I could see that happening. Any little animals? Any little animals you see it's hiding around anywhere? That we can collect, maybe? Hello, hello? Hello, hello? Man, I need that collector's helper because I don't know where to find the the collectibles right now since it's a new exciting world and who knows where things are hiding and she flew over here pretty pretty darn quickly and it's always raining here that is so cool uncut blue topaz look at her fly she is so cute all right so she's finding blue topaz and cool things like that so she's got enough gems Ooh, and there's that bloodstone that just seems so cool. So we're gonna try to get her really high on the uh, lifetime point so that we can get that collector's helper thing. We're about like a fourth of the way there already, which considering she's just a child is not that bad at all. All right, and where's all that metal? I hope she's okay like being out in the, the rainstorm like this. I think there's a whole bunch of metal. Smoky Quartz, Smithsonian. Uh, there's a whole bunch of metal over here. So we'll go ahead and we'll let her come. Yeah, today, I guess since Ginger, Ginger put off doing her homework. That's why you should always do your homework in the morning, kids. So that you don't disappoint your friends by running off on a perfectly fine Sunday afternoon. Ah, there we go. What's this? Ooh, what is this? That's not, that's not what we were looking for, but I'll take it. No interactions. What spotlight mushroom? Eh. Why can't we? All right, let's send her here. Can only Darian like? Oh, let's see. Can can she not pick this up? 
So she's not allowed to pick up that spotlight mushroom. But apparently there's a piece of metal somewhere in here. If we look carefully enough, hiding in the fog and the mist and everything. Oh, it's so creepy here. I love it. It's the perfect autumn, like, autumn weather feel. Oh, there it is. Finally showed up. So we'll collect that little piece. There we go. And then let's get your dad. Let's get Darian back on top of, uh, oh, what is this building? What is this building? The old fishing village. Oh, that's so cool. But all right, we'll have her zip around, travel around, and collect things. Soot is taking a nap, and Darian is busy brooding and looking out a window. So we're going to get him back to work on actually planting some of the wonderful plants for his witch's garden, which should be quite fun. And then hopefully transmuting a whole bunch of things when we come back and making some, some alchemy potions, because he's getting really close to leveling up the alchemy skill, and we're slowly and surely working our way up through doing his lifetime wish. So that's pretty exciting. Ah, oh, so exciting. All right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.